Um, so I'm here today with Louise de Strass. That's right. Nice who to has meet you. just been on the main stage at Godiva. Yeah, that's right. I am doing good, thanks. I'm buzzing. You're definitely Northern. Wakefield, Wake? I'm from Wakefield, yeah. Got yeah. a definite Northern twang. And you're really friendly as well. Am uh, I? Before we even came on camera, you're like really funny and friendly. Proper Northern. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's so funny because like some people think that I'm really scary and really intimidating. So they don't like to come and talk to me. But then they don't realise that I'm just really nice and I just love a good cup of tea and a load of cake. How do you have your tea is probably the question. Um, I, have, I just like tea with just milk. Oh. Yeah, because I am a sugar fiend. I love chocolate, I love cake, I love Yorkshire puddings, I love mashed potato. In fact, I just love everything. I'm just like, and I'm not shy about it either. I'm just like, I go to the all you can eat Chinese and I'm just like, with the ice cream machine, I'm just like, just get it, just get it straight in my mouth. Well, it's all so. you can eat, so really the challenge is how much can you eat? Well, <laughs> let, I, this is what we should do afterwards. Let's all go to the All You Can Eat Chinese in Coventry and we'll find out. Yeah, sounds and good. it'll make some good viewing for your lovely BBC Coventry and Warwickshire um, viewers and listeners as well. Um, I guess I've got to ask, because actually you brought the first single out kind of 2011 time, around then, wasn't it? 2012. 2012. It was actually International Women's Day, the 8th of March 2012. The hand you hold. Was there yeah. a reason for that? I'm guessing there was. Well, I thought, why the hell not? You know, I just thought, why not? What What's was the, the first single? It's like called Behind You Hold. Yeah. That's well, a really lovely message you've got going on. Well, it's, it, it got called, um, I think it was, God is in the TV zine. They called it an anthem for female oh. empowerment. So I thought, well, why not release it on International yeah, yeah, Women's yeah. Day? Well, you know? kind of, yeah, and actually there's a message within your actual outfit today. Kind of section. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to describe that? Is that kind of, what was the reason behind that? Well, to be fair, I'm not really like any kind of fashionista, you know, I don't really have a clue what I'm doing, so it's like, I, I just wear whatever's just kind of comfortable, you know, but I thought, why not like, take it to the next level, you know, because like, you're not allowed to swear at Godiva, although apparently I did swear, so whatever, but but like, you know, I just thought, instead of standing there and going on a rant, I just thought, well, I can just say it all in just like one second, but I just, you know what I mean? Yeah, it works. It works. Um, so it's what Crass would do. It's what Crass would do. It's what Crass would do. So actually, not many people know this, I guess, who have just watched you today. But you've actually played at Glastonbury before. Only twice. Oh yeah, <laughs> only twice. That's one <laughs> yeah, of the most people ever played. <laughs> what what was that like? Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. Was yeah. that with Billy Bragg as well? It was, yeah, yeah. What happened then? Did you just get a call going, do you want to come play? Or? Well, Billy, Billy's a big fan of my music, but he's also a huge supporter of new up and coming artists as well. Like He's all about like passing on the torch, you know, the, the, the revolutionary torch down to the new generation. So he invited me and a bunch of other amazing, fabulous artists to play um, on his left field, left field stage at Glastonbury. So I played there in 2013, just before my first album, Dreams From A Factory Floor came out. And then and then I was lucky enough to be invited back again this year. So yeah. What was it like, like this year? Well, Glastonbury is amazing. I mean, I think it's just one of those like special places where everybody like comes together, you know, through music. And like, and it's just one of those like magical places where like everybody feels like they could be themselves, you know. So it's like, can you imagine what the world would be like if every day was like Glastonbury Festival? It'd be incredible. And also, obviously, like this year was really special because uh, because Jeremy Corbyn did his speech on the Pyramid stage, but then he came to um, our stage, Leftfield stage, afterwards and did a full like half an hour speech. So everybody was like super energized, super pumped up. So it was just a really like it was just an incredible experience. You know? Did you get any kind of? Did you go see any bands or any? Favorite bands from Glastonbury sets this year? Yeah, I did. I saw a Bee Gees, uh, Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees. Oh, well, with the dancing security and all sorts. Um, I didn't see any das dancing security, but I was just really, just really enamoured and overwhelmed to see Barry Gibb because he's one of my favourite songwriters, um, and I take a lot of like inspiration, you know, from from his amazing, vast catalogue, you know, vast body of work. So. Um, so it was just great to actually see him in real life. I never thought I'd have a chance to see him, so that was brilliant. Let's turn it away from Glastonbury and come back okay. to Godiva. Okay. Godiva is, of course, uh, it's a free festival for everyone. Yeah. What do you think of free festivals? Because it does allow people who can't usually afford tickets to stuff like Glastonbury to come along and enjoy music. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think as well, I think that, like, that Godiva is fantastic because it, everybody can come here no matter like how old you are there's like loads of young people here which is amazing because young people are the people that are excited about music the most but they are constantly excluded from experiencing it you know like most kids are like 18 plus or whatever so and i've got like there's loads of people who enjoy my music who are under 18 and they never get the chance to come and actually experience it so i loved i loved that that was my favorite thing about god so far if people want to get hold of you where can they where can they find you um 
at louisedistrass.co.uk and every everything is the handle is at Louise Distress. Not Louise Distress. But it is it's Have you had that a few times? Yeah, well you see the thing is when I was when I was actually like little and I was at school, I got bullied really badly at school and um and for my name because I'm like half Greek. So like people used to say, uh uh-huh, your name's Louise in distress. And then I remember like my teacher pulled me to one side one day and just said, Look Louise, like all these kids are laughing at you now, but in like twenty years you're gonna be like a massive famous rock star and people will be asking you if it's actually your real name and I'm like whatever and now people don't even believe that it's my real name so he was half right and he, he was, was half well, right I can't imagine anyone else in your school played Glastonbury twice I don't know I don't know I don't know I, I just love to play music I mean I'm, I'm being all like bravado because I just came off stage and I was all like yeah but no but seriously like I love to play music I don't care whether it's on the like big stage over there or with my acoustic guitar like right here I just love to play music and there's nothing better than like playing music and people loving it loving loving what you do and sharing it and connecting with people and i'm just very grateful and very happy to be here so is this the first time you've been to coventry i think it is actually what have you, yeah, what, yeah. What have you found it so far i know you probably haven't had a huge amount of room to go in here but like you said we'll go to the chinese buffet after yeah yeah have an all you can eat competition yeah is there anything else you want to see like there's a famous cathedral there's it's quite famous cars is there anything else you'd want to see Where do you-, you have an ice cream house like gelato. We do. It's like gelato. I love gelato. Should we go, should we go get that after? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. thank you, Louise. You've been oh, absolutely smashing. Thank you so much for talking to me. I'm glad you're not scared. That's very nice.